What's going on guys, I am with the Moose, and today I was planning on making a video about how there was a rumor that the next Call of Duty game was going to be called Advanced Warfare, but little did I know that overnight they were going to actually release a trailer, uh, actually Destructoid, um, a gaming news website, actually uh, kind of leaked the first trailer, and it's a almost three minute long trailer, it's pretty awesome. I'll link it down in the description for you guys so you guys can see if you have not already. Um, it, it basically forced Call of Duty to, to show what they had, and uh, they eventually uploaded it to their uh, YouTube channel. I'm sure this is not exactly what they wanted. Um, you know, they I think they wanted that May 4th, uh, you know, reveal date, but hey, uh, things happen, you know, it's really hard to keep things under wrap, and until yesterday, I don't think almost anyone knew that the game was going to be called Advanced Warfare, so in all honesty, credit Sledgehammer and, uh, Activision for keeping this under wraps for a long time. I kind of like the surprise of the, uh, of the title's name, and, uh, I think last year for Ghost, the title was leaked almost a month or two in advance, so, uh, this is definitely an improvement on that. But hey, uh, getting the trailer a couple days in advance is also pretty cool as well. Maybe this Sunday, instead of a trailer, we're going to get something else. You know, more uh, campaign information, stuff like that. Uh, but this trailer definitely confirmed that Kevin Spacey was going to be in the game. Um, as far as I could tell, it seemed like he was going to be a villain, but they didn't really give his role as of yet. Um, they ba it was basically a big monologue of him, and he was basically talking about how democracy doesn't work in certain countries, things like that, um, and, you know, what they need for a government, but, um, they, it didn't, I don't know, it didn't exactly say what he was going to be, um, doing, at least not to me, maybe you guys have more insight, if you do, let me know in the comments down below, I'm interested to hear what you guys have to say, but, um, I don't know, I really enjoyed the trailer, I thought it was pretty awesome, uh, definitely something worth checking out, and, uh, I was certainly surprised to see it this morning when I woke up. I uh, kind of just woke up, went on Twitter, saw like a bunch of stuff about it, and I was like, whoa, I gotta make a video now. Um, and I did plan on making a video this morning about Advanced Warfare, but uh, I planned on making it as if it was a rumor and not as if it, as if it was confirmed, so that's pretty awesome to uh, see that we know what the next Call of Duty game is going to be called. It is called Advanced Warfare. Um, another thing to note, it's definitely in the future of some sort. I don't believe they said what date or uh, what year or anything like that, but it's definitely in the future if you watch the the um, trailer, you, you'll easily be able to notice that almost everything in it is highly futuristic, I would say. Um, my guess is it's going to be at least 30, 40 years in the future, maybe more. Um, and that'll be pretty cool. We've never had a Call of Duty game that far in the future. Black Ops 2 is the only one that's really technically in the future at all. So, um, you know, the, and they brought some cool stuff, I thought. And Black Ops 2 is one of my favorite Call of Duty games ever, in all honesty. So, hopefully Sledgehammer can replicate that. Uh, Black Ops 2 success, you know, with the future game, and, uh, you know, make one even better, so, thank you guys for watching, I hope you enjoyed, I hope you check out that trailer, and I hope you guys let me know, uh, you know, what you thought of it, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you later.